So here we have 6.5 simplifying a product of radical expressions multivariate. And so I'm going to write this number as its prime factorization. So I have this two here, one, two, three, four. So it'll be two to the fourth. The y's will become two, y to the seventh, and the x's will become x to the seventh. Now remember, a square root has an index of two. So if I mentally go to exponent form, I'm going to have two to the power four over two. And four is divided by two goes in evenly two times. Here I'm going to have y to the seven over two. Seven divided by two is three, but with one left over. Here I'm going to have seven over two. Seven divided by two is three with one left over. And so then I'm going to clean this up. This should be four and they like your variables in alphabetical order. So I'm actually going to put the x cubed in front and then the y cubed and inside the radical the x first and then the y just to write it in its formal presentation. Now the bottom one, 6 is 2 times 3. So if I write the number in its prime factorization, I have a 2 and then I have a 3 squared. This 3 and this 3. Then for the W, I'm going to have 2 and 8, which makes 10. And then V and V will make V squared. So 2 does not go into 1, so I will still have a 2 inside. 2 goes into 2 one time evenly, so none are still left inside. 2 goes into 10 five times with none left over. So I will not have any W's left inside. And 2 goes into 2 one time and nothing, no V's left over inside. So then if I clean that up, I can write 3 W to the fifth V and then the square root of 2. So all I'm doing is dividing those exponents. If you need to see the math on the side, I am taking 2 into 1. It doesn't go any. So I get 0 and I have 1 left over. This is the power on the outside. This is the power on the inside. That's for the base 2. Okay. So for my base 2, I'm messing around with those exponents. Then for the base 3, and I'm doing all of this mentally, right? I'm taking the 2 exponent and dividing it by the 2 index. And then 2 goes into 2 once, and that 1 times 2 is 2, and I have 0. So 1 on the outside and 0 on the inside. So this becomes the exponent on the outside and I don't have any threes on the inside. Then let's consider the base W. So I'm doing the two index into the 10 exponent. That goes in five times, which five times two is 10. So I have five on the outside and then I have zero on the inside. And again, I'm messing with the exponents. So that means there's a five exponent on the outside and no W's on the inside. And then finally do the base V, that's the two index divided into the two exponent. It goes in once with none left over. So one goes outside and zero are inside. And so that's why we had V to the one on the outside and no V's on the inside. So we're literally just dividing the exponents and then however many times it goes in, that's how many of that base are on the outside. However many are, are left over as far as your remainder, that's how many of that base are stuck inside. Okay, so like this should have been one, right? Zero came out, but I still have one power inside. 